you know how much of a weird delusory cultural artifact that is gonna be in like even five years people are gonna look back and go what the fuck? i don't ever want to see it again what the f is right? this sh <laughs> and much less when kids who are born around this time get a little older even like 10 11 like daddy why were you all bet insane what was oh, what, what yeah. the hell was just this? tell them the truth just go my young lad that's because the wef were <laughs> testing their biological weapons on mankind <laughs> for when they're gonna fucking try and kill everyone how the hell did we get here what do you think of these new inclusion standards for films they make me vomit how did we fall so far so fast because we just let it happen they see this as war oh son of a because we lazily acquiesce to it. Because we are too busy or too polite to fight back. What did it cost? Everything. Pendulum is, is swinging a little bit, but I think a lot of people are acting like we've won. We ain't won shit. Uh, there's a long way to go. This is just a small step. You ain't seen nothing yet. There's no outside force coming to solve all of our problems. No superhero is going to defeat these supervillains. Who's with me? Let's go! Come on! And I, and I see the difference between both parties kind of being just one as a slower road towards destruction than the other. And as of late, it seems like the GOP as a whole is a controlled opposition. It merely appears to put up resistance while in reality, it almost instantly caves to pressures and falls in line with the progressive agenda. And I'm not certainly not backing the Republican Party. I mean, ugh. The only group of people left for us to rely on is ourselves. Wake up, wake up the average ordinary person who is awakened from the mass mind control. Thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a nasty person, I'm telling you. Being Hispanic or being black does not make you immune from being racist, from being radicalized, from being a white supremacist. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Should we implement another three month lockdown for the environment? Yeah, most certainly, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> we are the ones who have seen through the agenda and persevered through the smears and the lies. Your son is a crackhead, Joe! This <laughs> <laughs> great. President business is gonna end the world? But he's such a good guy. So if we don't step up and win this culture war, then who the fuck will? Let's wake the fuck up! <clears throat> Infowars.com, Joe! Let's wake the fuck up. This is the war of our time. This is the most important battle of your time. It's the battle of information. Should we do a year lockdown? Yes, to change the mindset of people, yes. <laughs> In Octan, they make good stuff. Music, dairy products, coffee, TV shows, surveillance systems, all history books, voting machines. Wait a minute. Uh, the Fellowship has a lot to be thankful for, because you guys did like beat the shit out of a trillion dollar company. That's pretty impressive. Come here, think about that. They got put on their ass. Uh, the Extremist would be the movie they make about like uh, everybody on Friday Night Tights. Yeah. Like, <laughs> me, you, like everybody who's like you know, <laughs> pro freedom. I said, we never gatekeep because fandom's always been about accepting anyone in. Uh, three years later, I'm gatekeep the f out of everything. Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. My apologies. Just so you know, I'm queer, I'm here, and I'm gonna fuck up Disney Star Wars. You're getting clipped on that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't care. Protect it, gatekeep it. Somebody comes in, oh, I don't like that. Don't care, fuck off. Not for you then, not for you. Turn around, what can he buy? Yeah, it's like just, just you know, speaking our minds and having a laugh, like, oh, these people must be stopped. It's every year, you know it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we lock so down for like... two months, so we know and we prepare for it every year. Right, yeah, that, that's actually a good point. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> no one is coming to save us but us. Come on, man. And we do that by bringing together the anti woke nerds fighting in the culture war alongside the politically sane who are fighting in the front lines of the information war. You can't defeat me. No, I know. But he can. No. Wake up. 
So if you want to live for the future, you stay inside. I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. Well, if I were you-know-who, I'd want you to feel cut off from everyone else. Because if it's just you alone, you're not as much of a threat. How did you decide to ban Alex Jones? Ah! It should have been me, not him! What users want from us, and what we've always provided them, is a curated platform. It's not fair! My audience is political in nature, and I think I think cultural secondarily. And these audiences may be cultural first, and then political secondarily. And I think that's important because we can all agree that Kamala Harris is real-life She-Hulk. Oh, because I'm better than you? We think that what the user wants is someone that does review these apps, someone that uh, does review the podcast. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? Stop being gilded, domesticated garbage. This is why I am so vehement in the fact that the right needs to be, they need to um, divest. They need to uncouple from big tech companies. And I don't care how you do it. It means the advertising is algorithmic and it is determined by a handful of companies, all of whom are beholden to places like the WEF and international conglomerates and the ESG score and woke bullshit. They're not interesting in actually pairing advertisers with the right users. They want to manipulate and engineer the behavior of the users. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wake up! I didn't say anything. You just did. Your voice, it's cluttering up my space. Get out. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. We're going to get naked. No. Woo. We are... mm. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. This is what you've been waiting for. Be the one we need. Do not come. I'm going to come. Delaware County Councilman Ryan Webb announced that he now identifies as an Indian American woman. Wake up. <laughs> as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. You want some more? Huh? Folks, you've been around white people on average? White people are watching TV all day with their thumbs up their ass. <laughs> I mean, nothing against white people. I wish they'd get off the bench and be well, yeah, be, be innovating people again. Transgender children should be free. <laughs> the white people ain't out to get you. They're trying to kiss your ass because they feel guilted by the same system telling them they're white supremacists. Those arguments have become so stale and so pathetic that they have no one on their side anymore. Even the normies have seen how bad the identity politics stuff is. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. If we can step up and protect our nerd culture. Anime has a satanic vibe. What could he buy? While creating alternative entertainment in a parallel economy, it'll be a roadmap on how to save everyone and everything. Wait, save the cheerleader, save the world. Come on, this is a misunderstanding. I'm just a regular, normal, ordinary guy. Hollywood and the media and this identity politics focused stuff is destroying everything and everybody is woke, has finally uh, awoken up to it. Get the f out of bed, bitch, go. In the most leftist areas, they're even converting, and there is a real global awakening. There is a great awakening happening as the counter to the Great Reset. Although Hollywood is funded to include social engineering, because that's what it is. this is. This is social engineering. We don't take a political stand. We're not leaning one way or the other. Uh, that doesn't compute. They are not funded to the level that they can live on that on their own. If the audience just walks away, their ESG money isn't going to support the entire studio system. They need the favor of the audience too. You got that? It's actually uh, your world and my world together that was able to like rip the Disney kingdom asunder. And now when they're losing that, that's kind of like when the other shoe's about to drop. That's when you have the potential for a, for a renaissance. What the mainstream media did was created a, a massive market, a monster, and they created their uh, their own extinction. The old dinosaur media isn't dying, it's dead. We are the new media. I'm not locked in here with you. That's it! <laughs> You're locked.
back in here with me. Because now, like, you know, you take out Tim Pool, there'll be 10 people to take his place. They might not get as big as Tim Pool, but you got those 10 people combined will probably be as big as Tim Pool. And that's how it's going to go. Like, you take somebody out, they get replaced. People don't want networks. They don't, they don't want corporate establishment, Disney or Hollywood or any of that. They want authenticity. They want reality. They want pro-human information. Let's do it. Get access to exclusive videos and become a producer of my subscribe star. Links in the description.